Hello and welcome back to my Let's Play Mass Effect Andromeda Part 15. Okay, I had to go back to Kadara Port to finish out that little bit of the main story that we left it on last episode because I couldn't do any of the side quests until I did that. So we start out our episode today by going back to Kadara Port, meeting our secret informant, and then we are doing as much of Drax's side quest as possible. And we start and complete Vetra's loyalty mission. The most important part. I finally ask Jal if he's like interested in me and I, I, I love him. I love him so much. And the response that he gave me, I could not have predicted. So if you're very excited for me to ask Jal if he's interested in me or not, if you're excited for Vetra's loyalty mission, go ahead and click the like button down here. And of course, make sure you subscribe, hit that notification bell so that way you always know whenever I upload a video. I definitely felt really, 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 really horrible after the ending of Vetra's side loyalty mission. So please let me know what you chose in Vetra's loyalty mission. Cause I feel like for some reason I messed it up. I don't know, but definitely let me know. Give me your thoughts. I would love to hear about it. As always, if you want to come and make some friends offline, we do have a discord link is in the description below and all of my other socials are in the description below as well. So if you want to see any of my memes or cosplay content or anything like that, uh, I'm usually super active on all my other socials as well. Let's go ahead and get into it. A little bit of a longer episode today for you. So I hope you enjoy and let me know about Vetra. I will see you in the next episode. I tried to do some of the side quest stuff off stream. And what I realized was that, was that I have to move forward with this one main quest in order to get to the other, in order to like open up all these side quests. I have to do the main thing because I kept trying to come do side quests on this little like outpost that we found here. And it wasn't letting me do anything. And so I was like, okay, I have to, I have to go ahead and do the main thing. So we are going to go speak to the resistance contact. That's what we're going to do. And then uh, we'll probably work, do Sumi. like a little side mission. Yeah, I have about so 40 minutes to record right now. So we're going to get as much done as we can in those 40 minutes. Hey, piss off. You order, you pay. I said. You look like you're waiting for someone. You know, cheers. We ball. Time for a drink. Shayna, but you can call me Reyes. I hate code names. I was expecting someone more Angaran. Lol. <laughs> the resistance pays me to supply information, among other things. So you're a smuggler. Your man, Venterev, was arrested by Sloan Kelly, leader of the outcasts. Word spread about what he did to Moshe Sefa. The people are calling for his execution. And Sloane? <laughs> She's a woman of the people. Dress it up however you want. She's a criminal. You work for the Initiative. Sloane was part of the uprising on the Nexus. I doubt she'll give Ven up easily. Maybe she'll agree to a deal. There might be another way to get to Ven. You work Sloan. I'll talk to the resistance. How do I contact you if things go south? Hey, you gotta pay. <gasps> he didn't even pay the for change. You hate to see it. Always do. Okay, we're just gonna keep going with this because I really don't know what's up with some of these quests where like, it just keeps pointing me to the transit thing. But then the transit thing, he's telling me to come to Kadara Port. If you know what I have to do, let me know um, in the comments, please. I am, <laughs> I am begging. I just wanna be able to do some of these side quests. I also looked up um, how many hours to beat the game 
and on how many hours to beat.com or how long to beat.com. I forget what the what the website is. You know what I'm talking about. On that one, it says that story alone is only like 30 hours in this game. And I was like, well, I'm at 42. <laughs> and then I saw that it was like, if you want to do like most of the side quests and the main stuff, then it's like about 60 hours. I just don't know, I guess, if like besides the loyalty Broken missions. Defenses here and here. The cat have been oh no, she's hot. Oh no, she's hot. Hello. What? Should I curtsy names first? You must be Sloan Kelly. I'm I know who you are. Of course you do. So what brings a pathfinder to our humble port? Van Terev. Name ring any bells? What's he to you? And don't lie to me. I'll be honest with you, hundred percent. I will be I honest. Need him so I can infiltrate a cat flagship. You've obviously got no love for the cat. I'm doing you a favor. Kadara is an Angaran port. They want Vendette, and I want to keep them happy. This is bigger than local politics. You don't need Ven. You need his intel. Talk to him before I put his head on a spike. Sure. I can work with that. See? No reason we can't be civilized. <laughs> Should have brought refreshments. Hello? What? <laughs> um, yeah, I just don't know whether or not um, yes, sir. the other side quests are worth it. You tell me if you feel like they were worth it or not. Um, besides the loyalty missions, because I while I do think that some of them are interesting, like like the ones on Voeld were definitely more interesting than some of the ones on Havarl, but I just it's just not like ooh, it's just not like tickling me in the same way that some other games have. And it's not that I'm totally disliking it right now but i'm just not really finding like i'm not finding a ton of I'm not finding that it sparks joy if that makes sense i want to know how the story ends i'm like i'm very curious about that okay the last time i did an interrogation it was in mass effect what do you want three i feel yeah, like it didn't go you. well where is it this a new interrogation tactic sloan's getting lazy i don't answer to sloan I'm a pathfinder with the initiative. The one who rescued the Moshai. Yes, it's me. I know who you are and what happened on Vold. Then help me. You can still make this right, Ben. Tell me what I need to know. <laughs> Making it right won't save my life. Well, that but it could probably is true. <laughs> the Archon ship. Where is it? I never saw it. Got my orders from a Ket transponder. But you could use its frequency to triangulate the Archon's location. Do That's a lead. I buried it before I was arrested. Should still be outside the city. Thanks for the intel. Don't you want to know why I did it? Why I betrayed the Moshi? I mean, if you're going to tell me, sure, tell me. Enlighten me. We're losing the war against the Ket, and still- The Ket are you! Puts my brothers and sisters in danger to protect a useless old woman. So you took Yikes. things into your own hands. I made the call he wouldn't. The Archon only wanted the Moshai. I thought if I gave her up... Uh, I didn't know what the Ket were doing to my people. You resent Ephra, so the Archon used that against you. If Ephra was a better leader. What ifs, what ifs, what ifs, Doesn't you matter. know? And I'll accept the consequences. I think I finally, I think I finally got it. Okay, I think I know what I had to do. All right, we're doing Drax, Drax loyalty mission because we're here and it's easy and let's just get it done. I would like to do all of the rest of the side mission of all the rest of the loyalty missions. I don't know how far they'll take us, but I would like to do that today. And then next episode, we will probably get back to the main quest. This must be a rendezvous point for these exiles, remote enough. Spender appears to know it well. 
Spender, we received our supplies, but I'm not sure how you expect us to keep pressure on the Krogan. It's half of what you promised. Maybe we can throw rations at them? I'm starting to think trusting you is a bad idea. Have you even used that scrambler I gave you? I bet it's just lying around your quarters or something. You've got a title. That means power. Use it. Erewhon, er Erewhon, okay, who's that? So Spender's been sneaking goods from the Nexus to these exiles. Why? This Arone seems concerned about something hidden in Spender's apartment on the Nexus. The datapad mentions a scrambler, which would explain the state of the file in the security archives. I highly recommend finding it. <gasps> okay. So, find the scrambler, nail Spender, check. Yes, lovely planet. Hope we never leave. Hello is so funny. I love him. Your honor, I love him. I am really a fan of... I'm a fan of all of the side characters in this game. I do think that they're so much stronger than... So much stronger than Ryder, which feels like not a... It feels like not a slight on Ryder, you know? But I don't know. I don't know. Hold on. We have a new email. Is this... Is it Jal's email? Has Jal finally emailed us? Please hold. <gasps> the Asari Ark. How to break through on the location of the Asari Ark. Please come talk to me on the Tempest. Okay, great. An encrypted message came from Sid. Said she wants to talk to us. Sounds urgent. Going to need you for this one to so swing by when you can. Okay, Betra's sister. Yes. I'm hearing rumors that scavengers found pieces of an Ark on a planet called Aladdin. Might be nothing but worth checking out. <gasps> okay. I must be brief, but I hear my virus was a success and Sam was disconnected. Excellent news. We should talk in person. I have a close to the nav point for our sanctuary on Kadara. The virus is only a first step. You could be a strong ally in our future efforts. Hello? What? Please see me on the Hyperion deck to discuss a sensitive matter. Oh my God. We have so many emails. Oh my God. Sid sent us an email. I know this isn't following protocol, but who am I? Because who am I to contact a Pathfinder through their personal console, right? But I know Vetra will tell me I'm overreacting and I swear I wouldn't do this unless I thought it was something serious. There's just stuff going on here that doesn't really add up and people are getting hurt. It's hard to explain. Can we talk in person? Oh, <gasps> yes. Okay. Yes, we can do that. One of my friends from Kadara sent a list of tips for surviving there. It's mostly common sense, but here are some gems. No one who knows who the charlatan is. Asking's dangerous. Be really careful dealing with Sloan and anyone who works for her. Politics on Kadara are less about who's got the biggest stick and more about who's willing to use the sticks they have in creative ways. There's a hole in the wall place in the slums that makes the best cup of qu qu quillo quilloa. Do not mix quilloa with other stimulants no matter what anyone says. Humans only. Don't ask Umi the bartender to surprise you. Okay, good to know. We are currently hosting the first Angar and ambassador to the Nexus, Issa de Navar. Despite the importance of your duties, we hope your next return to the station will coincide with this visit. A cordial meeting between the Pathfinder to first reach Aya and the Angarn ambassador could set the tone for our relations. <gasps> yes. Last time I was on Godara, I met the Cesaria Kralos, who said she'd let me in on a little score. Apparently, there's this matriarch who came over on the Nexus, only she died in stasis. My contact says she's next in line for the old lady's credits. A lot of credits. And get this, she says she'll split them with me. Trouble is, there's red tape, transfer fees, and she's having trouble mustering up the credits to clear them. Ask me if I could cover the transfer cost. I tried to bring Vetra in on this, but she says it's a scam. I'm not so sure. Sounds like a pretty good opportunity to me. Drac. Oh my god. <gasps> Non-work related email from Jal. Oh my god. Here are the, here are the goods. Writer. I told Liam and PB... I told Liam and PB and Lexi a children's story that the mothers used to tell us when we were small. It's from our oral history of the time before the scourge. The crew said I should write it down so that it can be added to the cultural center on the nexus. The wayward child. Long ago, there was a child who was very stubborn and wouldn't listen to any wisdom. Not from her father nor her many mothers. One day, seeking adventure, she snuck aboard a spaceship with an unknown destination. That child was brave to seek adventure. However, she ended up getting spaced with a load of garbage. Deservedly, she froze in the cold vacuum of space and died the end? I don't know why the crew enjoyed it. It's a terrible story meant to scare youngsters into obedience. Is this a novelty to your people? If so, how do you humans keep children from hurting themselves? That is a concerning email. Dearest, in your culture, is dearest too strong a word to use when two people are fond of each other? Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. And is fond too strong a word to use when two people enjoy flirting with each other? Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god, he's hitting on us. I'm screaming. I enjoy... Jal enjoys us. That's it. End the recording. End the playthrough. We've we've completed it. Jal enjoys us. I smile picturing your face. And Gara are free with our emotions and it feels normal to me to lay mine at your feet. I hope this is not too strange for your species and that you can comfortably accept them. <gasps> I enjoy... I, but more than that, I adore your strength and courage and beauty. 
your dearest Jal, hello? I love him, <laughs> your honor, <laughs> I love him. Thought I'd show you what Strux sent me, a transcript of an audio log that's got me worried about the colony. It sounds like Mort is cooking up something. Don't know what to think. <laughs> we have so much to do. I feel like I'm so pressured. I feel like I'm pressured by myself to do literally like all of the, all of, there are just so many side quests. I feel like I should do them. That's on me. That's completely me putting that on myself, but I feel like there are so many that I just should do them. But I'm also kind of like, I kind of just want to finish the game. <laughs> I want to finish the game. I want to finish out all of our like loyalty missions. And then I don't know how much longer all these loyalty missions are though, is the thing. I don't know if like we're getting close to finishing out some of them or if they're going to take a while. There is a blank spot in your vicinity, Pathfinder. What do you mean? I cannot see part of the room for lack of a better term. Interference is preventing scanner function. You will need to rely on more basic means to search these quarters. Interference is preventing scanner function. You will need to rely on more basic means to search these quarters. What's this? I cannot scan what you're holding, Pathfinder. It's somehow blocking me, as a scrambler might. Sounds like a job for a comms expert. Okay, hi, 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 hi. We're back. I promised that I would come back um, and record because I only had a little bit of time to record the other day. So now we are back. We're in full force. I literally don't remember what we're doing, but it's fine. Um, It's literally... <laughs> oh, we're talking to the comms officer. Okay, y'all, I am filming this on a day where it is, it is literally like New York City has a sepia filter over it right now. I wish that I was joking, but literally like I went outside to go on my walk, right? And I stepped outside, saw just how smoky it is throughout the entire city. And I turned right back around. The inside of our apartment literally smells like smoke right now um, because of all of the smoke that's, I guess, coming down from the Canadian wildfires. Absolutely crazy. Like I've never, I've never experienced something like this before. I don't really know if I like, it's not a good thing to experience by any means. Um, I did go out on a walk yesterday, like with my mask on and everything. And, you know, I was like able to do it. But today, uh, today it's honestly worse. And I thought that yesterday was pretty bad. Pathfinder, what can I do for you? Pathfinder business. Stay calm and trust me when I say this is serious. Calm and serious, check. I found this thing somewhere on station. I need to know what it does exactly. Sure, I could... Wait, this is a scrambler unit. These things are illegal. Where did you get this? Keeping it quiet for now. You'll find out when the time is right. Or when I hack this scrambler for you, eh? Can you prove who's been using it? Solid proof. You bet. You could hack through every security wall we have of this thing. There's a Ain't no way. Illegal. Sorry. Calm and serious. Deep breaths. Addison giving Let us the like done. stare down from over yes. there. Let us know when we're done. Okay, we have a new email. Okay, okay, okay. So now we have to speak to Drac. Okay, let's gar. Is there anything else that we can do while we're here though? Just so that way. Oh, hello. Ryder, I need your help with something. I get a feeling this is something big. Yeah, yeah, it is. One of our botanists heart called up in a panic. A colony transport has been stolen. Stolen? It's a transport? Can't you just replace it? It's not the transport. It's what's on it. Our seed vault. Seed vault? Without that vault. What does that mean? Krogan children need the oh. nutrients in those plants to survive. Okay, okay. If one clutch of babies hatch before we get the stuff synthesized. The effects would be permanent. So what do you need from me? I'm gonna find those thieves and get the vault back. Be nice to have you along. Aren't the transports protected by passcodes? And how do you steal anything from a Krogan? First thing, Hark checked. Looks like some old authorization codes weren't erased. He was working in the transport and stepped out for two seconds. The thieves walked right in and flew off. Of course I'm in. Whatever you need. I knew I could count on you. Hark's Aww. waiting for us at the colony on Elodin. I down the transport beacon. He'll have the location ready for us on arrival. I can't then, lie. We'll find the transport track. <laughs> Don't worry. He I said seed vault. Hey. 
Thanks. I owe you one. Don't be silly. That's what friends are for. Okay, he said seed vault. And y'all know that when I heard the word seed, I was not thinking plant seed. I'll be honest. I I certainly was not. Taksul is very cunning. We can't underestimate him. I love him. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry every time I see him. Personal. Do you have a mate? A partner? Wow, she's just coming right out and asking it. Not for a long time. Not for a long time! It's okay. We're not gonna be his last time. love. That's all that matters. <laughs> I fell in love with a girl once. Aaliyah. We were young. <laughs> I was young. It was my first vassal on Aya. Oh. We worked on the same farm. Oh. She was a little older. A researcher. Not y'all going like for the older woman. Enough. Let's go. And see her <gasps> eyes. She kissed me and I was hers. Thrilled and seduced. Not him saying that she seduced him. My older brother came to Aya. He was already famous in the resistance. Wait, hold on, hold on. I have to. I want to know the ending of this story, but I'm sorry. I'm gonna interrupt him to flirt. I'm gonna interrupt I think him to you're flirt. Interesting and well, great. <laughs> anyway, I'd like to get to know you better. Oh, Ryder, right, come on. Yes, I'd like that. Okay. You are a lovely woman. <gasps> Fascinating. <laughs> a brilliant risk taker. Ah. Knowing you better would be a gift. Sincerely. Would be a okay, gift. Then. Okay, incredible. Anyways, now we can go back to talking about your ex-girlfriend. Tell me about it. Where is Aaliyah now? Did she and your brother work out? They came back to Haval and she joined our family. Wait, what? <laughs> You have to see her every day? No. They were taken by the kit. Oh, God. Their children survived. Okay, let me get this straight. The girl kissed him, was like, yeah, I'm into you. He was like, okay, I'm into you. They were together. Then his brother came back and was like, Ayo, what's up? And she was like, you know what? Your brother looks hotter than you. I'm gonna go for your brother. And then they got married and had kids? Is that what, is that what he is telling me what happened? I'm gonna say this again, because I don't know. I think you're interesting and... Well, enough about that. Yeah, I guess so. Thanks for the I'll info. That's Stay awful. And clear. That is awful if that's what happened. If that if I'm understanding that right, like poor guy, that blows. That is really horrible. I would hate to I I would hate that. Oh, Ryder. Sorry for the mess. Who's your friend? An exalted cat. I called Jarl to show him. Oh, there he is. Jarl, look at this. Literally any excuse to be in the same There's room with Jarl. Angara inside. The physical can be deceiving. I've run hundreds of tests. Only traces of the Angara genome remain. The exalted are kept. I'm there confused must be though. A way to fix them. I'm con I guess I guess that means that what they're putting in them, like, is literally changing their genetic makeup. So that way they are completely different than Angarans. But that doesn't deny the fact that they are turning Angarans into Ket. Anything's possible. We just have to keep trying. Even from mistakes, we can learn. Thank you, Ryder. I'm obsessed with him, well. What? Jarl needs to accept that exaltation is permanent. You're making his grief worse. That's not my intention, but also we don't know that. We've barely scratched the surface of what Ket are capable of. The exalted are new beings. It's more than a transformation. It's a birth. There's no going back. How can you be Charles sure about that? His, crew. his welfare is my responsibility. I know this job was a surprise, but you've really stepped up. And look, you got your cat sample. <coughs> Their bodies are unlike anything I've seen. Centuries of gene stealing, crafted evolution. It's horrible, of course. 
but also fascinating. I mean, I agree. It is fascinating. Sink or swim, right? So true, bestie. So true. I should probably clean this up before it starts to smell. Don't we have like... Girl, don't we have like uh, uh, air purifiers or something? I'm sure we do. I agree, though. It is genuinely fascinating. I actually used to want to be a forensic scientist because I was really interested in... Um, and like I, I was interested in uh, what is it called? Medical um, people to do the autopsies um, that used to like really interest me. And then I realized that I would have to do a hell of a lot of uh, math and science in order to do that. And I was like, all right, so I'm out. We got it, Ryder. You patched up the Asari flight recorder, some old access codes, a little data recovery from Sam. We have the Asari Ark's last heading. Let's go. Set. We can head there whenever you're ready. Remember the survey ship. This might not be pretty. Are you? Handling tough stuff is my job. We need the Asari and Sarissa more than ever. I trust you to find them before they can't do. I really think it would be juicy if they are just act if if Sarissa is just actually dead. Like I I think that that would be you know I just I think it would be I think it would be a thing. Did I hear right? You're going after the Archon ship. Looks like it. Last time we crossed his path, you nearly broke my baby here. I'm so sorry, Gil. You have a better plan of escape this go around. Sure, absolutely. I've got it all under control. How naive do I look? Just. Stay out of the skirt, huh? Okay. How's your friend Jill doing? Good. Busy. Apparently, prepping multiple species for procreation is a lot of work. Who knew? Waiting that makes sense. Started was killing her. Now she's being shot out of a cannon, so to speak. Sheesh! Regale me with some poker wisdom. <laughs> well, bluffing and reading players aside, poker is all... If the odds of getting the card you need are greater than the bet, make the bet. Good talking to you, Gil. Anytime. Hey, Ryder. Got an encrypted message from Sid. She has news and wanted to talk to us both. Connecting the call now. Finally! I've been waiting for hours. So you want to tell us what this is all about? I was listening to outpost updates and caught a message about settlers going missing. That doesn't sound good. Yeah, because it's not. They were kidnapped. I dug around, and I think I know where they've been taken. A cave on a moon in the Ramav system. Originally an Angaran mine, I think, but they abandoned it. I don't believe the planet you're talking about is a moon. Whatever. What did I tell you about getting involved? I couldn't just do nothing. How do we know She's you're so valid for that. reliable? It's reliable. I trust her. Uh, actually, I don't know her. We'll need more information. We'll need more than your assurances. Who's behind this? Why target settlers? Ugh, does it matter? Are you gonna not save them if you don't like why they're in trouble? No, I will save them, Sid, but... just give us everything you have on this. Already done. Could I come along? I want to help. <sighs> you know the answer to that. Right, of course. Stay away from bad people, guns, <gasps> bombs, Krogan beer! beer. <laughs> you did good. I just want you to be safe, okay? Yeah, yeah. Of course. Of course. We just want her to be safe. Why do I feel like she's going to get kidnapped? It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Wow. Look at all this. The Scourge did a number here, didn't it? I think it says that we're supposed to evaluate this for, like, a potential world. To be the home. Yeah. Now the exiles have taken over. It's, it's in bad shape. It's off the charts, Ryder. You'll need to stay in the Nomad. God damn it. What good are these fancy suits if they don't block radiation? That's what I'm saying. In normal situations, they do. This planet's magnetic field was disrupted when it cracked open. Oh, jeez. No cosmic ray tearing you apart <gasps> at the molecular level. Ah, uh, not the best way to go. So stick to the Nomad. Okay, but then how am I supposed to get anywhere? <laughs> or like, what happens when I get to a location? That's what I want to know. I will stay in the car, but what happens when I get to a place and I have to take out the enemies, you know? I'm sure that I can shoot from the car and I've just literally never figured out how to do it. 
I do not detect life in our immediate vicinity. I'm unsurprised by that. Stay sharp. My sister may have missed something in her in bed. Yes. <laughs> Yes, I would like to embark on this mission. Let's get it. Let's get it. We're going in. We're going in blazing. Hopefully there was an autosave before that. I always get very nervous before those things. I swear if Sid sent us on a pointless search, I'm going to- I don't think she did. I don't think she did. Don't step in front of the- Oh, how did you not see that? How did you not see that? Oh my God, if they die, if Jal dies on this mission, I'm gonna be so mad. Oh no, we're all together. Okay, never mind. Never mind, never mind, never mind. What the hell was that? I don't know. You tell me. Sorry. At least Vetra is not trying to steal my man. PB, I'm adding you. Ah, Nix. So good to finally meet you. And you brought friends. Turian bad girl? Even the Pathfinder, if I'm not mistaken. Oh my god, is this Vetra's ex? My bait worked better than expected. The missing settlers. Who are you? Why are you kidnapping innocents? Innocents? <sighs> They're criminals. Are they? Help them get away from me. You think I'm gonna let that go? Oh no. Get comfortable. You'll be here a while. No, we won't. Case of mistaken identity? I'm just as lost as you are. It's okay, Vetra. You don't have to cover for us. Hello? That was Meriwether. She runs a smuggling ring on Kadara. Oh? We worked for her. Vetra helped us get out of it. New lives, hiding in the outposts. So you were helping people. There was no need for all that modesty. That's not modesty. I didn't help anyone. Okay, okay. You didn't help I'm anyone out of here. You <laughs> tried. There's no way out. Of course there's no way out. There's always a way out. So true. Say that. Say that, Vetro. We will find it. Ryder, you have to believe me. I've no idea what's going on. I believe you. We get answers, but first we have to get out of here. Okay. Prodromus is not exactly what they promised in the initiative pamphlets, but it's real close. Hope hard enough and squint a little and you can just see it. The menial jobs are tedious, but it feels better than running guns and drugs for Sloan. Never should have been part of the uprising. Second chances are priceless. Oh. Vetra seems really agitated. It's making me doubt what really happened. I, uh, I hope this all gets sorted out soon. Oh my God, there are so many. You said Vetra helped you. How exactly? Some of us were trying to get off Kadara. She must have heard about it through contacts. She reached out to us, made up assignments at the outposts. That got us free. We didn't meet her in person, only over comms. Maybe it was oh my god, maybe it was her sister. Maybe it was Sid. Anyway, we thought Meriwether would let us go. We were wrong. How did Meriwether get a base on this planet? She made friends on Kadara. Some Angarans who told her about this place. It was a mine or something. It got damaged and abandoned. It was perfect for Meriwether. She wanted to strike out on her own, away from Sloan. We put a lot of work into this place. Carved out a niche, doing things even Sloan won't touch. Door controls are not accessible from here, Pathfinder. There has to be a way out. I can open the doors from my end, but they're powered down. We need to get them going again. Your end? Who are you? I don't like the sound of this, Ryder. Just get those doors some power! And... there you go! Is everyone okay? Sidera Nix, you've been pretending to be me, haven't you? I knew it! Uh, I knew it! You? Think I don't recognize my own tricks? And stop using my voice. Sorry. It was just easier to get things done when people thought I was you. I mean, now that's valid. Because you have contacts and stuff. Sid. So you didn't help us, just like you said. It was... Yeah, my kid sister. I mean, that is dangerous, however, but... Give yourself I don't know. some credit, Vetra. This wasn't exactly easy to pull off. Ryder, don't encourage her. <laughs> Sid, I know you're in the facility somewhere. Get back in your shuttle and return to the Nexus. But I can help you get everyone out of here. Can you? you Actually, can she did help us get all the way down here. That's help we don't need. So walk me through it. I got eyes on the base. Ryder. If she can tell us what we're up against, that'll be a big help. See? Fine, 
but she has to follow my instructions. Can you do that, Sid? Yes, Vetra. Oh my god. We'll stay put and follow you when it's safe. Don't want to get caught in the crossfire. So valid, so valid. Sid will alert us if anything's headed our way. Sid, what do we have coming up? Sid? Uh, looks like... Sid? I think... I think someone found my shuttle. I what did I say? What did I say? Somebody found the shuttle. Oh, no. Sid. It's probably Merriweather. Sid, Bad news bears. They found her. They're gonna kill her. We gotta get her. Go be the hero, Sid. Stupid. So, so stupid. There's still time. Sid's leverage. They won't kill her just yet. We just have to be quick. You're right. I think I can trace Sid's signal. Should take us to her. No time to waste, but we have to be careful. They have my sister. We're gonna do it. For a minute, I thought that the human was Avetra's sister, and I had to think about it for a minute. I was like, how does she have a human sister? And then I remembered. Oh my god. Think carefully about your next move, Pathfinder. We will, I promise. I promise. That explodes. It takes you out too. You won't let that happen. Vetra. God, her it's sister's hot. Me. We're gonna get you out of this. Come on, that's a kid you got there. She's not a threat. Let her go. She hacked my security. She's as tall as you are. Okay, and that's very anti-Turian of you. All Turians are tall. Oh no. I don't know if that was the right decision or not, but we are going to really hope. Are you all right? Are you hurt? We did it. I, I thought we were going to have to I think I'm okay. Kill the uh Merryweather though. We're all good. Thanks to you. I didn't mean for any of this. I'm sorry, okay? We accept your apology. It's okay. It's you can't okay. Just mess around with people from Kadara. They're dangerous. So true. I just she has to These learn. Guys wanted to start over, not be exiles anymore. I get it. No I get it. Chance, so I thought, I can do that. I can help. I mean, I get it, but it's also not really your That's call. Not your decision to make, Sid. I don't want you hurt. There are ugly sides to what I do, and you shouldn't have to deal with them. You started out when you were my age, and you managed okay. I mean, it wasn't my choice. You saw what we did here. This isn't all fun and games, Sid. Yeah, I was shocked at first, but I understand now, and I can handle it. Okay, I you to have to. I'm Whatever. confused. I'm going back to the Nexus. Oh no. Wanted. Oh no. That was intense. Are you all right? Oh no, I feel like I made the wrong decision. I just need some time to think. Oh no. At least the settlers are safe. Thanks oh no. For helping me out with this rider. Can we just get moving now? Oh no, I don't want to destroy her relationship with her sister. I thought that they would- I hope that they make up. This makes me sad. Oh no. This was depressing. I don't think I chose the right thing. Oh, achievement earned. Okay. But at what cost? Okay, we did earn Vetra's loyalty. Oh, let's go. All right. All right. That I think is a good place to leave it for here. I gotta get some more work done. So... I will do, let me know if there are any loyalty missions that you definitely want to see on camera um, or like recorded. I don't know if I want to do all of them just for the sake of like getting through the plot. Like I might do some of them off camera. So let me know which ones you'd be really, really interested or like most interested in seeing. Let me know in the comments below and let me know what choices you made about Vetra because I definitely feel like I did the wrong thing. So please reassure me. <laughs> Otherwise, I hope you have an amazing day and thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next episode. Bye.